Coming into this season, the Dodgers had one goal, to win the World Series. It slipped through their fingertips a year ago. But to do that, they needed to add some pieces, the biggest of which came at the All-Star break. That would be Manny Machado. Manny Machado, a deal appears very likely going from the Orioles to the Los Angeles Dodgers. Manny, let's go back to the All-Star game. How weird was it knowing that you were about to be traded, but not knowing where you were getting traded? Definitely tough. You're going somewhere, you're gone. I kind of already know I'm gone. Biggest question is where. Manny Machado will represent the Orioles for the last time. Matt came, came up to me like, hey, I think you're coming to LA with us. I was beyond pumped at that time. West Coast for the first time, you know, obviously it's a winning team. To the belly of the beast. I was in shock at first, you know, walking in here. Tommy Lasorda in the clubhouse every day. Sandy Koufax comes here all the time. This is big leagues, this is a franchise. There's legends here. Free agency is only weeks away. Does the thought make you excited? Does it make you anxious? Obviously, I'm excited. I mean, I'm excited to see who's going to show me their love, who's going who's gonna to want me to go over there and be their guy, you know, but I don't know if it could be more exciting than being in a championship game, you know, competing for this. Manny Machado leaves the building. You could ask me this question, and two weeks after uh, hopefully we win the World Series, I'll probably give you a different answer. It was a ball the other night. You didn't run hard. So how would you explain it? What happened? I mean, honestly, Kenny, I mean, I'm not the type of player that's going to be Johnny Hustle and run down the line and slide to first base. That's just not my personality. That's not my cup of tea. That's not who I am. Should I have given him a little more effort? hundred percent, I should have, but I didn't, you know, and I got to pay the consequences for it. It does look bad. It looks terrible. Players grow up dreaming of winning the World Series. What do you think it will be like? Just getting to it will be amazing. Winning it will be just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know how to answer that. Being a part of this group now, seeing how they go about their business, they're a game away last year. You know, they want to win it because they knew they had the chance to win it. It gives me the extra motivation that I need. On a lighter note, I know you have a unique sense of style. How would you describe your fashion? Honestly, it's, it's all my wife. Hey, Kenny, look. Instead of the bow tie, you should wear something like this. Look, look at this. Right here, we'll put that on. I'll try it, man. Yeah. You see, now that's swag. I think it looks good. Look at that, you see? You look swaggy now <laughs> with the bow tie. Bow tie fits bling, with the chain. You know? I like look it. that. That's bling bling. <laughs> that was great. Kenny, Mr. 305, Rico Suave, man, I'm telling you. You know what's funny? You, you see quotes today. Kenny wrote about the, on The Athletic, and you see, and, and the quote itself about Johnny Hustle looks bad. And then you watch the interview, and it's so refreshing. He's so honest. And it says, yeah, it looks bad. It's on me. I, I, how do you not like Manny Machado more after watching that, honestly? I agree, KB, and I've known him since he was 15 years old. He's a great kid. And look, it's hard to rip anyone when they're being that genuine and that honest. But here are the facts. Over the last four years, this guy's had more bats than any player in, in the major leagues. He's averaged 158 games. I played with a guy in the Yankees, Robinson Cano. Wasn't exactly Carl Lewis running down the line, <laughs> but he averaged 160 games. I want him on my team yeah. every day on Sunday just like Manny Machado. Without a doubt, this is a guy, he already said it all, you know, it doesn't look right. We have player consequences mm -hmm. when it goes down like that. But this is a guy that you want on your ball club. I mean, this guy played the game hard. You see him diving up second base, trying to break double play. You see him diving for ball. You see him play the game the right way. And this guy is a machine, man. Without a doubt, I want him in my lineup. 162 games. Only thing he can regret is not finishing the sentence. And that's saying, when I know I'm out by 10 feet, I'm not hustling. That's when I take breaks in the game because when a guy plays in the middle of the dime, they run all the time. Shortstop, center fielder. Mm -hmm. So it's okay for them to take a break every now and then. Bottom line is, he's been everything you want from a rental player. He's given this team a chance to get over the top because of his play down the stretch in these playoffs. He's been on fire, by yes. the way. I mean, and, red hot for the Dodgers. And remember, this is a guy that was a golf glow caliber third baseman, and he was asked to be moved to shortstop to play, and he went like, I got you. So that's the type of player that you want in your ball club. Last thing, on the, and look, we're not, we're not advocating, hey, you don't ever run a first base. That's not no. the case. But also in them couple years ago, remember, he hurt his knee running a first mm -hmm. base. And, and I think, Frank, the point is, right, when he, when he hits the ball and he sees it, a bullet to the shortstop, but he knows he's out, right? I'm, again, not advocating not running, but it's just different in that scenario. Especially with, with, with uh, superstars. You know, you got to pick your fight with certain players. This guy plays every night. He's on the diamond a lot. And like I said, he's at shortstop, center field, moving all the way around the diamond. A lot of exerted energy for him. 
you have to take your breaks on the field sometimes. I mean, the Dodgers would like, you know, a few home runs tonight. They, they might need them from yes. him the way they're offensive. I'm more interested in talking about his fashion, but that's another story. <laughs> no, like, but Frank, what's the, what's the hair look like? <laughs> oh, no, he got it together now. It was kind of, kind of weird over <laughs> here. I'm liking the braids now. I'm liking the braids. The it's braids a good look. Better. It's yeah, a great Cowboy. look. Man, we love you. The Cap Cowboy had to go. Oh, my God. No. Good. Oh. 